All That People, Bree Slay here, aka The Beauty Plug, all that connects you to your beautiful. And so on this channel, you're going to get some beauty, some lifestyle, some women's empowerment, and mental health. So if you're new, welcome. Just go ahead and subscribe. I'll give you a moment. You just go and you press the bell. Uh-huh. Press subscribe and press the bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. For all those that are back, welcome back and thank you so much for coming back. So today, when you see me with this little clip in my hand, that means we're going to talk about foundation. Okay? I am going to do a foundation review on the Makeup by Mario Foundation. This is not a first, this is a first impression, but it's not. I've already used the foundation in a different shade. Originally, I had 23-0. Um, which I like, and that's is supposedly um, medium, to, medium to dark for medium to dark skin tone with a cool undertone. And it reminds me a lot of um, NARS All Day Luminous, which they no longer make, foundation they no longer make in the color New Guinea. And that matched me perfectly because I like to go a little bit darker. Um, but I also found when I was talking to the girl in Sephora that 20N which is um, medium dark, medium deep, but neutral undertone also goes well with me. So if you want some shade references for me, I am Fenty 385 when it gets a little warmer outside. I can also do Fenty 370. I am a MAC NC47. I am... Yeah, so you get the drill. So, my skin is combination, mostly dry. I get oily here, but mostly dry. Um, I am, it don't matter how old I am. But the point of the matter is, is that <laughs> my skin needs, like, I need hydration. And I find that since, especially since post-COVID, not really putting on a beat face to go outside much. You know, I really take good care of my skin. I have a really good skincare regi regimen. And I find that sometimes I just don't want a full full coverage beat down. You know, I want something that looks like skin, that's beautiful, that's breathable, that's kind of flawless, but still kind of looks like skin. So um, some foundations that I really do love is NARS All Day Luminous because it gives you full coverage, but it gives you that um, satin finish, a little glowy, not too matte. Fenty by Rihanna, her original foundation is very matte. So I mix it with a little face and body by MAC to kind of give it a smidget of a glow. But back to the subject at hand. So Makeup by Mario, um, this is a foundation that was um, made by a makeup artist. Now, if you see me flipping back and forth, it's because I'm trying to get some tea for y'all about the foundation. So, Makeup by Mario is said to be, uh, Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin is said to be a foundation that offers buildable coverage. Um, it's breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable, long-wearing coverage. The highlighted ingredients are grapeseed oil, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... I have tried this, like I said before, foundation out in the color 23O. Um, and I'll insert, I think I have a clip. I'll insert a photo of me in the actual foundation. Um, I didn't do any changes, like as far as my routine, my regimen. I kept everything pretty much the same. Now, this foundation retails for, and let me look on the Sephora website, for $42. It, for me, it came out to about $46 with tax and stuff included. Um, it's giving me a hard time to open this box. So let's talk about packaging, okay? So the foundation, this is the foundation here. Again, this shade is 20N. Okay, so the packaging is, looks like a plain, regular schmegler, old glass packaging. The top is a plastic cap. You get, let's see how many, you get one flu full fluid ounce of foundation. Um, and there's a pump. 
okay? So I don't know where my Petri dish is. So we're just gonna put a little pump on the back of my hand. My hands were just freshly washed, so don't come for me in the comments. So I'm like, put it in your hand. Yeah, I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Um, I did my brows already. This one looks a little bit thicker, but it's all right. This is just for the purpose of tutorial and for you guys to get the tea on this foundation, okay? So I'm gonna do Shake It Up. Can you see that? I'm gonna do one full pump, okay? So, to me, this is my concealer for my brows. To me, it's a little moussey, almost a little gel-like, okay? Now, normally I put my foundation on with a beauty blender, but sometimes beauty blender soaks up the product. I haven't put any primer on my face. I just did my brows. And I'm gonna just use my Rihanna 115 brush, my, I'm sorry, Fenty 115 brush. And let's see how this looks. I'm looking here on the side. Okay, so All right, so as you can see, compared to this side, you know, this side just looks a little bit more smooth, a little richer. I think it's okay, all right? That one pump just did half of my face. So I'm gonna go and go in with one more pump. Oh, now that's a bigger pump. And do the other half of my face, just applying dots. The reason why I like using this brush when I do put on foundation and I also use a Real Techniques brush is because this is so dense that it's almost similar to a beauty blender, blender as far as not having any bristles in the foundation as far as it's streaking, but it also doesn't soak up the product like the beauty blender. Now, I have a mole right here and it's a tattooed mole, by the way. It was a pimple mark and I turned it into a beauty mark. But it's covered a little bit, slightly. So, now with this, even though it says neutral on me, it comes up a little golden. I actually prefer um, shade 23O on me. Yeah, okay. So this is one layer of foundation. You can see, I'll give you some close-ups. This is one layer, okay? This is without primer, without nada. This is just straight foundation, okay? All right, so then let me just give you some close-ups. Excuse a little, a little, here's here, all right? So just for the sake of this, whatever what's remaining on my hand, I'm gonna put it on my brush and kind of go in and tap some um, areas that I feel like I want to have just a little extra, little extra coverage. Now, we wanna try Excuse my contact, it's moving around. Now we may wanna try, I may wanna try putting in one more pump just to see how the foundation builds. And I know it is buildable, but being that this is a different shade, I wanna just see um, how I feel about this. So I'm gonna go in. This shade is very similar to um, Macau by, um, to me, by NARS. And Macau is sometimes a little too, I don't want to say gold. Yeah, it's, it's just the undertone is not right. And I see how this is also looking. I don't know if it's golden or orange or what this is. Okay. So right now my face feels breathable. It feels really, um, 
it feels nice. I think it looks really fairly pretty. Um, it looks, I guess, pretty natural. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished products and tell you my thoughts on it. Okay, I'm back. I have just added some highlight contour. Um, I used some NARS concealer that I always use. Um, my Rihanna Fenty stick in the color Truffle. And I set my face with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powders. I will leave all of the products that I use in the description bar below. So, thoughts on this. This color for me is a little, so on camera it looks good. In person to me it looks a little orange, a little reddish. Um, but on camera it seems to pick up really nicely. Um, also, I, if you look close, you can still see some of my pores. Um, it looks good. It looks like skin. It looks natural. It just makes my skin look a little bit more flawless. It is buildable, I will say. When I wore the other shade out for the night, um, I found that I had to block maybe once or twice. Is this oily girl friendly? I would say if you have oily skin, you need to put on a really good prime mattifying primer underneath or use a mattifying spray. My setting spray that I used for this, which may affect it, is my Ultra, Grow, Ultra Glow All Nighter by Urban Decay. Um, I use that and then sometimes I also use my Morphe um, Continuous Mist Setting Spray. Final thoughts on this. I think it's a beautiful foundation. I think you can use it to wear every day if you're going to work. I feel like you can use it if you're going on a date. You can use it um, It's at any time. It is now the, the new trend I'm seeing is kind of like fresh face, slight glam. Um, it's not any more beat down, chisel my nizzle like it's not that anymore. So I would recommend this foundation. I would give it um, because I've already worn it, and like I said, this is just a different shade. I would give it a, for now, I would give it an 8 out of 10. 7 to 8 out of 10. Only reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because I have to try it out a little bit more and see how I really, really feel about it. I'm really partial to NARS's foundation and some of Rihanna Fenty's foundations and some drugstore foundations. So... I have to give it a little bit more try. I also feel like there needs to be a wider range of colors. And once that gets done, then we good to go. So that's my thoughts on this foundation. I think you should give it a try. Some samples, Sephora's are not giving out samples anymore. So um, that's why you have your receipt. You can always bring it back if you don't like it. Anyway, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you've subscribed, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. As always, stay elevated, stay humble, stay beautiful, and stay blessed.